Autism in Developing Countries Most research into autism spectrum disorder has been conducted in affluent English-speaking countries, which have extensive professional support services. This paper describes a series of investigations that was undertaken in Iran and these findings, together with reviews of research in other low-income countries, are used to identify key lessons in three areas of service provision of particular relevance to developing countries with scarce professional resources. First, the issues to be considered in establishing the prevalence of the condition nationally. Second, identification of parental understanding of ASD and the impact it has on them as carers. Third, the education and training that could be provided to families when professional supports are sparse. It is concluded that culturally sensitive parental support strategies must be central to the planning and development of services. Moreover, future research should further elucidate the needs of families and evaluate the impact of culturally tailored interventions designed to promote the children's development and overall family quality of life. Past research on children with ASD and the effects on parents of having a child with ASD has been limited largely to families in Western countries. Nearly all prevalent studies reviewed by Fombon and Williams et al. were undertaken in Western countries or Asian affluent countries such as Japan. There is limited information on the identification of children with this condition in non-Western less affluent countries where services for children with any form of special needs are less developed. This shortage of information has raised the unwarranted assumption made by some writers that autism is rare in non-Western cultures. Children with ASD will usually be diagnosed by medical doctors either privately or through child and family clinics provided by voluntary organizations. State-funded special schools are provided through the Iranian Special Education Organization although many parents may opt for private schooling. In addition, Parents will arrange private therapy for their children. For children more severely affected or with other conditions such as intellectual disability, day center placements are available through the Iranian state welfare organization. However, these services are only available in larger cities and probably only for more affluent families. Provision for adult services is mostly through private or voluntary organizations that also rely heavily on parental fee. Prevalence of Autism in Developing Countries Although it may be difficult obtaining information on the identification of children with ASD in different countries and cultures serves a number of uses. First, it can alert governments to the need to adapt or extend education and other services to meet the particular needs of these children and their families in line with the population requirements. Second, international comparison of prevalence may confirm the extent to which the identification of this condition is affected by cultural influences, as well as etiological factors or a combination of both. To date, studies on cultural factors and ASD has received little attention. Third, suitable procedures for identifying children with this condition in particular cultures can be tested rather than presuming that assessment tools developed in other countries will be adequate. Prevalence in non-Western countries To date, nearly all prevalence studies of ASD included in recent reviews were undertaken in developing countries. There is limited information on the identification of children with this condition in developing countries in which services for children with special needs are less developed. Only one non-Western study from Indonesia which reported a prevalence of 11.7 per 10,000 within a birth cohort who were born between June 1984 and May 1991. Subsequent study in China with 7,345 children aged 2 to 6 years also reported a prevalence of 11.0 per 10,000 children. Using government population statistics noted an estimated prevalence of 7.9 per 10,000 for children under 5 years in Hong Kong in the period 2001 to 2005. However, in those years, there was an overall prevalence in excess of 25 per 10,000 for all children less than 15 years old. In Iran, Samadhi undertook a study based on the data held by Special Education Organization on the national screening of 5-year-old children for ASD prior to school entry. Out of 1.32 million 5-year-old Iranian children who went through the screening program for autism using an Iranian translation of the social communication, over three academic years were suspected as having autism. 
In all three years, more boys than girls were suspected as having autism or were diagnosed with it. The proportions of around 4 to 1 are comparable to studies in other countries. A similar disparity is also reflected in the prevalence for boys and girls, with an average for boys of close to 10 per 10,000. But of 2.4 per 10,000 for girls, it was also found that the prevalence of children assessed as having ASD was twice as high in the more developed provinces of Iran, which is 8.81 per 10,000, than in the less developed provinces, a finding also found in other countries. The overall Iranian prevalence of 6.26 per 10,000 for 5-year-olds is similar to that previously reported for certain European countries and for Hong Kong, as noted earlier. Nonetheless, the reported Iranian rates are much lower than those reported for Sweden, USA, England, with the rates of up to 40 per 10,000 for children with autistic disorder. 